What is up, guys? It is Virginia Lacrosse Store here, Owen and Finn. And today, what we are doing is we are doing a video on OG Blade or Blade OG. All right, guys, if you're one of the many people that is asking the question, Blade OG or OG Blade, then you want to stay tuned because we today are telling you the answer. So today I have the OG Blade dyed old fade, what's it, old dye, and um, on a Maverick range, 8,000 alloy shaft. Yeah, and I've got this this uh, Blade OG that I just got today for Christmas, and with some brand new Blue Striker. Check out the live stringing video for it, it will be up pretty soon. Um, and basically, we're just going to tell you the features of each one. Okay, so for the Blade OG, the plastic is a little bit less durable compared to the OG Blade. However, the durability-wise is not so critical that t to the point that it would be you should buy the OG Blade instead of the Blade OG. So you want to talk about the OG Blade a little bit? So on my OG Blade, I have some String King... Um, no, do this. String King... Uh, Drinking sidewalls with some hero black and white hero mesh. And basically, so the OG blade has a little blade bit... OG. No, I'm talking about yours. It has a little bit more stiff plastic and durable plastic. So basically, if you're playing on the cement all day and playing in a sandy field, you're going to get more of a long-lasting head. And, but for the facing off wise, we'll do some demonstration. You really get that elastomer feel with this and really get that springy feel. And it's really gonna clamp and pinch the ball nice and well, really from an up close angle. So stay tuned for our comparisons on clamping. For the blade OG. OG blade. OG blade. So that was the blade OG. A nice pinch and pop with it. And for warping wise, as you can see, it's a tiny bit warped, but that's a piece of cake to readjust with your arm. Oh, that was bad. 